Sergeant Pitts crawled to the north end of Topside and began tossing grenades at the enemy. His tactic of cooking off the grenades, letting the fuse burn for several seconds before throwing them, put himself at great danger, but prevented the insurgents from throwing the grenades back at the wounded soldiers before they detonated, which allowed Pitts to call in a situation report to his company commander. He forced himself to his knees and manned Topside's machine gun, firing directly into the enemy's position. Minutes later, Lieutenant John Brostrom and Corporal Jason Hovader braved direct fire to race from the main base to Topside to reinforce its desperate defense. They relieved the badly wounded Sergeant Pitts, who then continued to man the radio and call in fire support. Suddenly, all outgoing fire from within Topside went silent, and the enemy's guns and shouts were the only sounds Pitts could hear. The reinforcing soldiers had all been killed. 